I, ha I don't know how to explain it. I just played with a robot. I was playing with a little robot named Curry. K U R Y. I mean, I. <laughs> it had a circle head, ovalish body. He looks like a snowman. Curry sounds like beep boop beep boop. Like um, R2D2. It was way better than playing a game. It reminds me of a dog, like a puppy. He is very cute. For some reason, I understand it. Because I understand robot. It was asking me to be its friend. He even told me a story. I just said, Hey, Curry, can you read me a story? It was a story about a dragon and a princess and a knight. Well, I have to check my blood sugar because I have diabetes. Hey, Curry, remind me to check my blood sugar in an hour. And he reminded me in an hour. Thanks, Curry. It was really cool. He comes from, from a special seat. And he traveled, and uh, I wanted to be just like Curry. And it even goes to sleep. Goodbye, Curry. Bye-bye. My name, my name's Mike Beebe. I'm the CEO of Mayfield Robotics. I was trained as an engineer at Harvey Mudd. And interestingly, at Harvey Mudd, I was actually the roommate of a guy named Andy Kosand, who happens to be married to my friend, Sarah Osentowski. Over the years, we were always talking about the different projects we were working on. And Sarah kept asking my advice about this robotics project she was working on. Then I found out my other friend, Kai Jin Shao, was involved in the project too. In fact, they needed someone to lead it. That was an incredible opportunity. The three of us formed up and we launched Mayfield. Mayfield is one of the very early startups out of the Bosch startup platform. What's awesome about it is that Mayfield is given a huge amount of autonomy. Instead of just commissioning a bunch of consultants to do a report or something like that, they actually found a startup to go into new areas of business that they think look promising. We don't have to raise any money from venture capitalists. 
and that's a huge, huge lift. It allows us to focus on building a robot that's awesome and getting it out to people. No one has this idea of what robots in the home are actually going to be. So the big idea behind Mayfield is let's go figure it out and to show people our robots that are joyful, useful, and inspiring. It's going to be pretty awesome. The best definition of success for us would be knowing that we brought those little bits of magic and joy and inspiration to a lot of different people in a lot of different houses. Because when you see something that you thought was just science fiction actually work in your home, and not just see it once, but have it become part of your daily life, you start to think that anything's possible. And that's why we do what we do.